Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm in my dressing gown because it's getting late and I'm cold. Can't turn on my heater because it makes too much noise when I'm filming. Um, and I just, look, it's late. I don't feel like putting a jumper on. I just want to wear my dressing gown. Forgive it. Um, okay, so today, I am doing a crappy products video. What I have here is a selection of products that I just, I can't. I just cannot, I cannot do it. I don't want them in my life anymore. Um, I'm going to go through them. If you see something here that you love, great. I feel happy for you. Um, I'm glad that someone loves it, but I do not love it. Um, I'm going to start with this guy. This is the Redken No Blow Dry. This is a product that you put in your hair when, like you wash it, put it in your hair and then you don't have to blow dry your hair. Um, your hair will dry in its natural form, so wavy, curly, whatever. Um, but it's meant to like reduce frizz and keep it a little bit more tame. I do think it works, but it also makes like the ends of my hair so dry and crunchy and just mm, not very nice. Um, so I just don't like it. I would look if I'm going to let my hair dry naturally, I prefer to just take like some argan oil and pop it in there and let it do it, let it do its thing. Um, I think this would be much better suited to people who don't have like color damaged hair or heat damaged hair if you've got normal hair that's you know pretty healthy but maybe it gets a bit frizzy after you wash it and let it air dry something like this might work for you but it doesn't work for me and i do not want to use it this here is the etude house at bubble tea sleeping pack oh this is sad um so this is a gel cream smells pretty good uh in the bottom there are these little jelly balls so you take some of the moisturizer with the jelly ball you pop the jelly ball and you pop it on your face it's a night cream um it doesn't do anything for me it's just not mm -mm, mm -mm. sleeping packs i always associate them with being like really hydrating and you wake up in the morning and your skin's all soft and plump and feels great and this just, mm, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing for my skin. So I don't want to use it. I don't like it. Goodbye. Ah, this one. Okay, this is the Larissa Bright Cleansing Emulsion. This is a cream cleanser. What's inside here is great, but the pumper stopped working. Oh, there we go. It's working again. This is what this product does. So it'll pump. There we go. I'll oh, pumped a little bit. No, now it's stopped pumping. And oh, there we go. It's pumping again. And now it's stopped pumping. I just can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'll just put that back on. It's disgusting. I cannot. I no. I'm sorry. Now I will say this. This brand has changed the packaging of this cleanser, so it's great. I expect it would be much better, but I have the old packaging, and I, mm, I understand why they changed the packaging. Good job. The juice is good. The stuff inside is good, but this particular packaging drives me mad, and I just can't, I can't deal with it. Um, you can, I probably should have showed you that before I squeezed crap in there. You can twist this off. Um, there isn't a long tube in there. It's kind of like, uh, it's a little bit like an airless pump. Um, but it doesn't, I don't believe it pushes product up properly. It's just, it's problematic. You can't really like, you know, shake product out of it. So I'm just, I'm not going to be bothered. Sorry. Okay, I have a bunch of Decium branded stuff. So I've got like Hylamide, I've got Niod, uh, and I've got Grow Gorgeous. So let's do all of these. 
Grow Gorgeous. This is the Hair Growth Serum Intense. This is meant to be a serum that you put in like the roots or on the scalp and you massage it in. Uh, you're meant to do it every day or t uh, once daily in the scalp, either in the morning or in the evening, 20 drops. Now that is fine if I'm gonna wash my hair uh, because this weighs down my hair so badly. Um, I couldn't even, like, I couldn't even get through the whole bottle to see if it would work. I got about halfway through it before I was like, I, I cannot use this. It's just, it's like having dirty, greasy roots every single day, regardless of how often you wash your hair. So this just does not fit into my routine. I've seen people use this and rave about it, like use it over long-term periods and say it's fantastic. I wanted to love it, but I can't deal with, I can't, I can't, mm, no, so Hylomide Glow. This is the Radiance Booster. This is like a gradual tanner and I would use this on my face um, throughout summer when my body would get darker and my face would be really light. It does work, but here's the problem that I found with it. Over the space of a few days, I would notice that my hands were getting really, really yellow um, and I've got they're all stained from swatching and using permanent markers and stuff. Anyway, my fingers would be like bright, bright yellow, um, bordering on orange, but my face looked like it had almost no color on it. And I figured what must be happening is washing my face twice a day and um, using like face scrubs uh, once or twice a week must be washing this off but my fingers were like taking the brunt of the color so it just I just could not fit this into my routine and make it work it almost felt like a useless step I honestly felt like I may as well have just been putting this in the palms of my hands every night and just tanning my hands because it rarely did anything to my face the next Hylomide product I have is the Sub-Q Eyes and I think I might potentially, I don't know, not be allergic to it but maybe be a bit sensitive to one of the ingredients uh, because with extended use uh, this would burn my eyes and in here in the inner corner parts the skin would get really scaly and weird looking so I don't know like I'm, I'm not saying that this is a shit product in itself, um, but for me, no go. Cannot do. Niod, so we're like moving our way up the ladder with expense. Um, this is a fractionated eye contour concentrate. Same thing, use it over extended periods, it would burn my eyes and the inner corners would just get weird and scaly um yeah i had backups of this because i thought i would love it couldn't use it um another one i'm getting rid of i'm just gonna leave this as it is can you see can you see how disgusting that is it's got hair stuck on it this is a lip biolipid concentrate the reason i'm getting rid of this is because i had a packaging fail i went to use it one day and the stopper uh or the squeezer popped out so I just mm -hmm. that was really expensive too um, and I honestly I didn't feel like it did much just made my lips tingle I can get that at a much cheaper price everything is covered in that bio lipid greasy gel stuff let's do some makeup that's always fun this is the Maybelline Curvitude liner so this is a liner that's got like an angle God, can you see? There we go. You can see it now. Uh, it's got like an angle to the tip. Now, I was really intrigued by this because I've got um, uh, an eyeliner from Ray Morris that has, it's, it's like this, but it, it's a brush. Uh, so you use it with like gels and liquids. So I was really excited about this, but the, the flow of product on this, I, oh no, I had terrible, terrible trouble with it. Like, drying up and skipping and just nightmare so it's a felt tip 
and it's got those like I don't know like little ridges in it I don't know what they're for um but uh, yeah mm, no I don't I don't I don't like it I only managed to use it like two or three times before I was like this is just no however I friggin love their um razor sharp wing liner one. Oh my god favorite favorite of all time rimmel brow this way um brow styling gel i don't like this because of the damn wand why is it so big it's it's literally like a stubby mascara wand uh, I find it just deposits way too much product. It's, and also, I don't really like the product itself. I don't feel like it really does much for the brows. Um, it's just, it's taken up space and I just, I don't like it. Ugh, this is absolutely disgusting. That friggin' Niod product. I've literally got greasy lip juice all over everything. Wow, that's disgusting. I've got two products here from Colourpop um, and they're both bronzers actually. So I've got a sculpting stick here. Uh, I just, I can't. I can't with this. It's it's like a, it's like a crayon. I don't, I just don't. I can't, oh god. I think what I hate about these is that they're like, it's kind of like this silicon-ish formula and like the problem is like they go on creamy and they feel like you know a little bit like there's some silicon in there and then when you go to blend it out it's it's patchy it's patchy it's nah i don't no no greasy juice on my fingers and then there is uh the super shock cheek which is like the the pot one and I just find these are uh, really difficult to apply. Um, I can't, it just, it doesn't really go on well with a brush. And again, oh, it's a bit orange too. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like these. I like their highlighters. I like their uh, blushes, but I could not make their bronzing stick or pot work. Alright, I have a lip product here. This is the Sweet Glam Tint Glow. Uh, now, I have this in like a translucent pink colour and it is stunning. Uh, and then I have this purple one and I do not like the purple one. It just, it looks so patchy and weird on the lips. The pink one is stunning. This one it swatches beautifully like I mean you can see there it's gorgeous and it's one of those ones where uh, it goes on a little bit translucent and then the uh, color sort of adapts to your lips um, but when it's going on the lips it's literally it goes on patchy and then it's sort of um, it's like it transforms uh, kind of weird like you'll have a bit that's like really like heavy here and then light here and I, no no i can't i'm not fucking no patchy lip products okay no inica this is the eye and makeup remover it's almost empty i really really tried with this and i thought i'd be able to finish it up and then it just got to the point where i was like no nah, i i can't i can't be bothered with this anymore now this does remove makeup really well it is actually a cream type of cleanser product so I use this in two different ways one was to squeeze this on cotton pads and then wipe it around my face um, and another was to squeeze it onto my hands like emulsify my makeup on my face and then wash it off on the, at the sink or even like sponge it off with um, like a cloth or cotton pads or whatever before I wash my face now it does work okay it removes makeup really really well i will definitely give it that the problem with this product and me is my skin just drinks it um not necessarily a bad thing but i had to use so much product to stop it from like 
drying out on my face it would literally it's almost like a moisturizer um if you take like a little bit of moisturizer and like rub it on a full face of makeup it's it's going to break down your makeup but it's also going to dry on your skin and that's what this did so i was using so much of this to like break down makeup that it just it was one messy and two it would take forever i'd squeeze it onto a cotton pad you can only fit so much onto a cotton pad wipe it on my face i'd get like maybe a cheeks worth off and everything would be like dry and then i have to do it again and why my why oh fuck man it just this sort of product does not fit into my routine i don't want my makeup removal process to take me 20 minutes and the last things are two lip balm type products so i've got covered in greasy lip juice uh the bliss fabulips softening lip balm no and the next one is the pure pore pore ointment in watermelon this smells amazing absolutely yum i want to eat it um but it just it does nothing for actual dry lips i found with this one and the bliss one oh yep on the floor where you belong um i found that when i'd have like chapped lips i'd put it on and like 10 minutes later my lips felt even drier and more uncomfortable so i put more on and then like rinse and repeat until i was like this is what am i even doing what am i doing this is like insanity i'm just putting on something that is making my lips feel worse that is not smart so it's all going all that stuff is going in the bin not interested however if you love it let me know let me know how these products work in your routine um and if you did see anything here that you also really disliked tell me about it we're sisters sisters from another mister all right guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye